Hello, my name's Joe, and what we're going to be looking at in our little Houdini adventure is how to create a panel fence. If you find this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. So, what I've decided to do is I've tried um, in previous tutorials, I've done like how to create a post, how to da da da. So, what I'm actually going to try and do is create something that's similar um, to. An actual fence. So what I've got is got some examples here, and I'm probably going to be looking at trying to recreate something like this over a few tutorials. Otherwise, this could be like a long thing. Um, so this gives us a little bit more direction, whereas previously it was sort of like, oh yeah, let's try and figure out what to do here. Let's try and figure out what to do there. So I'm hoping that we'll learn some new things. Well, I'll, I'll learn some new things as well. Um, and uh, we'll actually have an end result of something. Um, I, I may even try and take it all the way through to some simple text string or colouring or something like that. So we're going to try and replicate something like this. So what we're going to start with first is creating the post here. Um, and we probably want to create... Um, the, so we can adjust the height of the post, probably put in the little... Uh, floor clamp things here and obviously we want the top here and so off we go so we'll go to houdini and we'll right click and type geo for geometry and give it a name so fence and we'll open that up so we're going to start with our post first so we'll put a line in right click line and this is going to be our height so click on it if you click on the name and type that in it gives it allows you to create a, um, a name for it. So if we hit C on the keyboard, that brings up our colors and we'll set that to green so that we know that this is what we can use to change um, uh, our values when we need to. So now what we'll do is we will add in, we'll turn on our points. So if we click on our little point icon here and the numbers as well. And so now we can see in the viewport here, we've got our numbers for each of them. If you hold Alt and middle mouse, that allows you to move up and down. Uh, alt and left allows you to move around and alt and right click allows you to move in and out so what we'll do is we'll go back to our network view type uh, right click and type in cube and we want to set this to a polygon mesh which brings us to this and then what we'll do is we'll set the axis divisions to two 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 so we just got a uh, four cornered box here and then we want to put this uh, center to uh, level with the bottom of the grid so what we'll do is we go to center type in 0.5 so that now means that when we change the height of our line it'll always go up and not both ways <coughs> so what we'll then do is drag off of the box pin and type um, transform and we'll just give this box name as it will give it a, what should we name this post base um, and on the, click on the transform uh, uh, display icon and what we want to do is we want to set this to point, say 0 0.1, 0 0.1 in the scale so that's given us a little bit more of a post uh, width here and um, we'll just leave that as it is so now um, what we want to do is we want to now be able to use this line to adjust the height of this so what we'll click on the, our height we will right click on length and we'll go copy parameter and then we'll go back to our transform we will get uh, select the value the scale so this scale here is our up and down so you can see then when i move that it's up and down and we'll just select uh, select that value right click and paste it relative reference so you can see here it's changed and it's put in um, a reference to our height so if we want to put it back as it was we click scale and you can still let's see that that's green so now when we go to our height when we adjust this length here you can see here it moves up and down so that's that now what we're going to do is we want to add a bevel to the edges here so that we can um, uh, basically, what should we do? No, what we'll do is we'll blast the, uh, get rid of the top and the bottom faces because they're not going to be needed um, and just a waste of um, geometry. And so what we'll do is we will uh, click on our mouse icon and then we'll click up here, make sure it's on faces and we'll click on our... Uh, on our, uh, right, so what we need to do is over the, right here, if we click on our post base, that allows us to select our faces. So what we wanna do is we wanna select that face and hold uh, shift and select the bottom face. And then what we wanna do is hit tab and type in group. And um, what that's going to do is that's going to group our faces. I believe if we, uh, trying to think here, yeah, so that's going to group our faces. So you can see here that when we go click on our group, we've got that um, 
two, two uh, selected there. So what we'll do is we'll give this a name. So uh, there's two places to put the name. So the initial name up here. So group um, top, bottom, and then group name. We'll name this GRP top, bottom. So you can see here that that's changed these two names here. And then we go to our transform. We want to just make sure that our line height is still working, which it is. And then what we want to do is drag off the transform and type blast. And what we can do here is then select the, as you can see here, it's deleted everything. Um, but what we can do in the group is drop down the group and select our group that we've created above. So as you can see here now, um, our faces are missing from the top and the bottom. You can, just so you know, reverse this so that you could potentially have only the um, uh, side faces showing. So yeah, you can uh, re um, invert these if you wanted to so for you know specific things um, you could funnel this off to some other area or whatnot um so we've we've got what we want here so now what we're going to do is we want to for this perhaps apply a bevel to the edges so they're not so sharp or you could change essentially the pose type if you wanted to so we'll drag off of the blast and we will type a uh, bevel and poly bevel um, what we'll do is we'll just name, uh, no, we'll leave that as is. So on the poly, be poly bevel, what should happen is when we go to distance, you can see here it's basically adding a bevel to our, our edges. Um, you can change the type of bevel, so if you wanted it, uh, depending on the amount of divisions, you can increase the divisions here. You can add a, all, all these sort of different a chamfer. Uh, type 1, and we're just going to leave it on a generic uh, round and we'll probably only want a tiny bit of a bevel on it. Um, so there you go. So that is our initial post, main post done. So now what we want to do is we want to create the topper for it. So what we'll do is we will create another cube, right click cube, and what we're going to do for this one is we are going to center it so it's sitting on the bottom of the grid we'll just select it so we can see it and um we'll leave that as it is and then we'll create a transform drag off of it create a transform and um, this is going to allow us to scale it and what we're going to do is say uh, we'll put it down to uh, point uh one eight and just what we'll do is we'll go merge if you drag off merge and then drag these two together, that means we can see them both together. So it gives us a rough idea of the width. So perhaps that's a bit too much. Um, what we can do is go one, six, one, yeah, one, four, one, four will be enough. So now we want to go back to our, um, just focusing on our box here. So just select the trans, uh, the transform display node, transform display node. And um, what we're going to do then is if we look at our, uh, example here is it's got a sort of um, beveled top so what we want to do is we want to obviously add that so what we can do is uh, we're going to make it a little uh, narrower height wise so we'll say, say try 0.5 uh, yeah that will do then what we're going to do is we want to select our yeah our top face here so we'll click our mouse icon make sure on faces select the top face um, hit tab type in group and that's going to instantly create a group for our selected faces. Just check that. So um, in theory, why is that not done anything? Let's try that again because it might have been me. So click that, tab, group, enter. Yeah, so now, we, now we've got a group there. So it's obviously a glitch there. So we can go uh, name, give this a name. So we'll name this um, group top face, uh, group top face. And so that's selected our top face. So now what we're going to do is we just want to bevel this. So if we drag off of it, type poly bevel. And so initially when we do that, that's going to uh, adjust everything. Oh, so what that's done is that's because I've had my face selected before, it's automatically selected my face. So what we'll do is we'll clear the, we, with our body, uh, poly bevels created, we'll just make sure this group is clear. So in theory now when I do that, it should do the whole, yeah, so there we go. So all we wanted to do is affect the top. Um, so what we can do is just drop down our group, select our group top face, and now what happens is that we can create our little bevel here. So now what we can do is we can say, well, we want... Um, the edges obviously not to be so sharp. So what we can do is we can go to our um, group face here and we can, uh, 
we can what we want to do is create another group that's essentially so if we go back to here we want the rest of this object uh, selected so that we're not affecting um, our top face here um, just thinking yeah so what we'll do is we'll go um, go back to here and we will basically click on our mouse icon and we're going to select all the other faces so you hold shift and just move around the object and select them so now what we can do is go with all those selective tab again group hit enter that's put a new group in and we can do them name this uh, group um, remaining faces um, as long as you, when you're naming stuff, as long as you understand what it is, um, that's all that matters really. Um, and it depends obviously, bear in mind if you are sharing this with other people, um, you know, a team of people, you obviously want to name it so that when they look at it, they can go, that's where this is, etc., etc. I'm just, obviously for me, I know what it is. So um, what we'll do then is we'll add another poly bevel. So a poly bevel, plonk that in, and we'll just go to that so and then we'll just set the distance so we can see here it's affecting everything currently we'll drop down our group and we'll set the remaining faces and what should happen hasn't happened why is that um i think do i need to plonk that in there uh, So what's now that is uh, that is correct. This is what I wanted. Sorry, I, I don't know what, not what I was thinking there. So yeah, we wanted um, this to be created a um, sort of a smooth. So we just turn our points off here. We've got a nice little um, smooth edge here, um, which is exactly the kind of thing we wanted for this little post hopper. So now what we want to do is we want to move this post hopper to the top here. So what we can do is we can get our uh, line turn our points back on we want to get basically this top point of our line to copy the top of this um, put, copy this topper to the top of it so what we can do is we can unclip that and we'll put that in over here and we will go um, click on our uh, drag off the high pin here and go group um, spell it right by range and we want to basically just select this top point so what we can do is which one is it oh, from points we want to drop down our group type to points and you see here now that both points have been selected and I believe if we slide that one up the only one that's selected is that one so now what we can do is we can drag off of this and type blast and we will name this uh, group top point and name this one group top point and then in our blast we'll just drop down the group here and we will select this one here and we just want to uh, delete non-selected and uh, so now we're left with just our top point so now what we want to do is we want to right click copy to points and we want our target points to go in this one and our geometry to go in that one and then plug that into the merge so now we have the top of our post and um so just turn those off a minute so now what we can do is we can look at the post and think well we you know we want um our post to be a little bit wider not quite what you wanted um but a little bit not wider narrower um so now we've got like you can see there we can easily change that if we want to um we'll leave that currently yeah, as it is in theory you should be able to change the height yep so you can see there um if done correctly so we can say well we want that to leave that as 0.5 so that's created our initial post so now what we can do is we want to create a very simple little bar here with a, a what looks like a bolt or something like that so and we would then apply it to the bottom point here so what we will do is we will right click cube and we will then um, set this to polygon mesh we'll set the axis division to two to two so it's just a basic box and um, then we'll drag off of it type transform and then what we will do is we will put that so it's on the center of the grid oh wrong one sorry go to box put that in the center so it's on the bottom of the grid and then what we'll do is we'll resize this right down 
uh, to say let's try point 0.1 initially and um, we'll plug this into the merge just so we can get an idea for size um, as you can see here it's not quite what we want um, so it's probably let's have a look do it a little bit a uh, little bit uh, 1.5 and uh, let's do that two and then we'll do the scaling 1.2 uh, so do that 1.1 and then we want the scaling for the left and the right whoops left and the right and um, what we'll do then is just have a look we want it a little bit wider I believe um, let's have a look as a point three and then what we'll do is we want to move this off of the axis a bit here so I think if we translate this out the correct way if I can find it where are you ah, right so we want that one there so we'll go uh, 0.1 and 25.06 and um, uh, perhaps make it a little bit narrower as well because it is a little bit too far out yeah that looks a bit more like it and then we're just going to shift that in a bit so there we go so we've got our little um uh, metal metal panel there so then we just need to add a little, little screw so what we can do is uh let's have a think um, we'll add a sphere so right click sphere and um polygon mesh and because it's going to be so small we can drop the rows down to say 12 and 8 and then what we'll do is we'll drag off the transform and just resize that right down. Um, we're just going to merge those two together and plug that in so we can see here. So right, so the transform we need to scale that right down to say about 0.2 maybe. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll do. And um, what we'll do as well is we'll just rotate that in 90 degrees, not that way, the other way. <clears throat> and then what we'll do is we'll shift this out a bit so that it is the same, I believe it's that one. Um, so then that's going to sit there and then we'll move it up, um, which I believe is that one. Not that far up though. Um, then we want that about 0.5, uh, 0.7, um, perhaps still a little bit too big. Um, so what we can do then is just say, well, we want the scaling to be 0.6. So then what happens is when we go to our merge, there we've got a little bolt here. So what we will do is we'll add that to the other side as well. So what we're going to do for that is very simple is we're just going to mirror this across to the other side because there's nothing special here so what we can do is right click in our network mirror drag that in um, after the uh, merged metal and as you can see there we've got it mirrored so that is a very simple post there we've created that when we adjust the line height here that moved up and down with it the initial foot stays um, where it is um, and then what we can do is uh, we can then post this along our line um, to create our fence um, so that it, when we post uh, when we create drag our line out it puts the post on each point where we want it and then what we're going to eventually do is then add to our um, fence panels in and things like that so we'll be looking at that in the next tutorial um, so yeah hopefully this has been helpful and we've learned some a little few uh, new few things here so yeah